Real people, real celebrities, real talk. Join the Breakfast Club. Weekday morning, 6 to 10. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Special guest in the building this morning, Mr. Childish Gambino. Hey, what's, what's up, on? Mr. Gambino? What's up, you guys? How's you look, it going? You look very comfortable. I'm super comfortable. That's what comfortable. I said. I said, make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Man, I'm always trying to be comfortable. Do you do yoga? I used to actually a lot. I actually don't have the time to do it. Anymore, gotcha. But I, I used to. I, I, I mess with it. So do you meditate like for 10 minutes in the morning? I'm I meditate a little bit, but I'm not great at it. Like I mm-hmm. I, I really should do it more. Does he look that relaxed? Well, yeah, I'm like asking because he's, he's sitting my like, knees. My I got my knees. Uh, that's the oh, Russell oh. Simmons pose. I can't yeah. see. He's about to start floating. <laughs> he's about to start like this. Oh. I just feel more comfortable that way. I, okay. was, I swear. Because I saw I you at the that. VMAs a couple weeks ago. You didn't look comfortable there. At they all. wouldn't let me do that. I can't, put up my, I can't put up my legs there. You couldn't sit there. You couldn't do that. I was, day, the, I was the next. I was just kind of taking it all in. Like mm-hmm. I was Gwen Stefani and Snoop and every. It was like a lot of stuff. I was looking around. You looked out cool. of place. Though. You looked like I don't. Really I'm out of place everywhere. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's any place I really fit in. So Except cool. maybe on stage. I mean, sold out shows and everybody's coming there just to see you. I'm really to the to the to the MTV thing. No, I'm talking about your shows. Oh, the your shows. Act, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like that's it's fun. Like, I mean, the last shows have been crazy. Like, mm-hmm. and we've been selling out everywhere. It's been a pretty good time. Mm-hmm. Like, like insane. I'm, I've been really blessed. I don't know. Now people got upset at you because at a show in Sydney, you said on stage you were top five, yes. which you should feel like because you did. are a rapper. Every rapper should like feel that, that way. Everybody, every rapper right? should feel that way. Absolutely. You, but you said you were better than Kendrick, Drake, and Schoolboy Q. Yes. What made you say that? Why those three names in particular? Because. <laughs> because <laughs> I feel that way that's my truth like I said those rappers in particular because I feel like they're the best I feel okay. like they're the best right I, I like I mean like Kendrick Drake Schoolboy like I was like I listen to them all the time like mm-hmm. I think they're just really good I, I really do think they're the best have you spoke to them or seen them since no no not at all no I don't I'm I'm sure they're fine with that's the thing like, <laughs> Kendrick, like, Kendrick probably sure, like, is Kendrick is fine Drake's probably too. sensitive as hell you yeah, know how he does. Drake is probably not taking it great but like <laughs> I'm, but like I know like I know the TDE guys like they don't understand like they're the realest they're one of the mm-hmm. realest dudes in hip hop like they understand they're like yeah you should feel that way mm-hmm. I mean we're in competition mm-hmm. I send stuff like I remember when because the internet was coming out school hip he's like stuff is crazy like that I've heard and I was telling him the same thing. It's like, because when it's good, I'm like, man, I wish I had done that. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it's competition. I feel, but hey, if you take it that way, if you want to take it to that. I just think it's kind of silly in rap when it's like, I'm the, like, if there's two wrestlers and they're like, I'm the best wrestler. It's like, no, I'm the best wrestler. It's like, well, one of us has to die. Like, that's not what happens. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, one, it's like, they just wrestle. Right, and right, then right, the right. one who wins is like, oh, I'm the best right now. It's amazing how that conversation in 2014 ruffles feathers, but... That was always the convo amongst rappers. Who's the best MC? That's the best MC. You and know? I really do feel I'm the best. I'm like, I'm having a moment. Like, I can't be stopped. Like, I know what I'm doing right now. Like, right. I've had 10 years of, like, like learning stuff. And I feel like right now, I'm like, oh, man, I'm really getting it. So, mm-hmm. like, I just feel that way. I really do. I'll stand by it. Like, I'll rap anybody. And it's amazing because performance-wise, when you put on a show, it is like a real performance. You know how some rappers will get on stage and they just... Yeah, it's because hip hop is changing. It's just like you know, it's popular music, so people just want a different thing. Like mm-hmm. it's just what it's just a different thing. Like I just don't feel like you know, hip hop's not doing the thing it was originally set up to do. So like, which is what show. to help young blacks get money, man. Like like that was what it is. It's like it's not that anymore. Like. Oh, no, these niggas getting money now. Although yeah, early on, a lot of hip hop artists weren't really getting money. I mean, no, I mean, like, like, I feel like I mean, like if. If if it's really working, it's supposed to be like we haven't seen anybody from the drill movement really make it. Mm-hmm. Like we got mm-hmm. like Chief Keef, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. we got like, but who's the, really who's making it from Chicago? Chance, and that's mm-hmm. not drill music. And guess who he followed? Guess who he learned that stuff from? Mm-hmm. Like I I feel like if hip hop is supposed to help us, and right now that blueprint is taken. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like if we don't. I mean like Iggy's winning. Like mm-hmm. G-Eazy's women. Like, mm-hmm. we got to do something different. Now, see, I have a problem with that, though, because people always act like the white movement in hip-hop is so big. It's only like <laughs> one or two of them every eight years. Like, But they're all eating now. You're right. Like, I mean, I I agree. Like, and, and I'm not being like, oh, white rappers, that's the problem. Like, no, I'm down with it. Because, like, rap is pop now. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what it is. It should be. Popular music. And yeah. popular music. And white people are popular. But you know, <laughs> white people are they are. They okay. are popular. They are popular. So it's like they're they're more than us. Like, but that's the th- I feel like our our job as like young blacks in this country is to show our worth because like right now they they view us as worthless. You think G Easy is uh, making more than uh, Chance on the road right now? I've if he's not making more, he's definitely getting more opportunities. Mm. 
I feel like better opportunities. I mean, like, and that has to do with like who his managers are and stuff like that. But like, I, he's definitely getting more opportunities. I feel like, and he'll be able to like sustain that a little bit longer. I feel if if Chance doesn't make the right rooms, and also Chance is no one's helping him other than me, and mm -hmm. I don't know as much as like G Easy's people. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's like yeah, I'm Chance figure, said I just you give him great out. advice all the time. Yeah, I try to make sure he's independent and know that he knows his worth. Like, don't wear things that are gonna make other people money unless mm -hmm. they give you a percentage. Mm -hmm. Don't. Like, like, understand, like, you are worth it. That's because of things, like, we don't we don't quantify our worth. Right, right. Where do you get your style from? Because you say you don't wear things that unless we get man, paid Man, grandma's sweaters like are popping because of you, this, I'm serious, you man. Hole, I'm right. you sweater. You sweater. <laughs> no, it's two holes. I do. I got two holes, man. This is, this is, man, this is going to bum everybody out. I have this two like holes my, also. But it's good. No, like, it's comfortable. Oh, my God. Did you just make a... Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, my style is, I was like, what's that a... And I was like, oh, yeah, you do. And I was like, no, you don't. I was like, oh, I get it. Um, actually, that's three. But like, um, <laughs> actually, seven, if you think about it. I was about to say, I was like, isn't it two three? nostrils? Uh, can you say that again? The please? mouth. There you go. The two ears. The eyes. The two yeah. ears. The seven. Uh, no, I'm, I'm this, I'm, I just want to dress like nobody says anything to Rick Rubin. Where did you get that from? Like, where did you shop and say, I want that? <laughs> this is going to bum everybody out. My friend's dad died and he gave it to me. It was like, uh, like I just was like, and it, and it was comfortable. And like, he had this old man swag right. where he just did not care what people thought. Mm -hmm. Like, he just came in there. He's like, yeah, I'm rich. <laughs> so so right. like, guess what? The worst they can do is kick me out and they won't. Because once they figure out who I am, they'll figure it out. Right. And like that, it reminds me, it's like, yeah, it's like Rick Rubin can come in here. No one's going to ask him any questions. Not at all. It's like me, we came in here and like people, like we were standing there waiting and people are like, what are you here for? Like, they want to make sure, because, like, are you yeah. supposed to be here? Yeah, you're you supposed a, to be if you here. you had a couple of Starbucks, they think you were panhandling. Like, yeah, you, yeah, <laughs> seriously. Because I know, I know, I, people, like, I walk down the street, like, a white lady with her daughter, like, the white is like, uh, he kind of looks homeless, and the daughter's like, Troy, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, I was going to say, I figure <laughs> white people know who you are from community. Yeah, something, but the kids, different people know me from different things. From different things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's like, the kids know who I am. Like, the adults are like, oh, okay, I've seen them on Sesame Street. I was like getting you said, some when people know you have it, who cares? Yeah, but it's like, like... If you know you have it, what do you care what other people say? Well, I'm doing this for us, like, really. Like, I want people, I want it to be, no, like, when I'm out on the street and I'm trying to get a taxi, mm -hmm. I want people to come up and be like, aren't you Donald Glover? And it's like, yeah, and it's like, why are you out here? I can't get a taxi. I want people to right, know. To <laughs> like I want people to understand. It's like I'm I'm wearing this for them. Like I don't I'm not doing this. Okay, but what if the black guy walks up behind you in a suit and he gets a cab and they'd be like, Well, Donald, see if you had a suit on. I know, but like that's the same as this, like, see, you shouldn't have been wearing a hoodie. Or like, oh, you shouldn't have been looking right. so sexy. That's why you got attacked. Like, it's like, <laughs> right. it's like, it's like well, yeah. I can do, I should be able to do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. Like, that's not fair. And you said the cops have even harassed you. Like, yeah. I mean, but that's every black male. That's every black person mm -hmm. in, in America. And I just like, got harassed by the cops a couple of days. <laughs> you look way more suspicious than a guy in a hoodie, though. I, you I, got the sweater with the shorts. You're I like, wait it. a minute, it's not cold out here. But so think you know, about, you're right. <laughs> you're absolutely right. But if I was white, they'd be like, oh. He's, he's from Brooklyn. Got money. Yeah. He's from Brooklyn. <laughs> like, he's from Brooklyn. <laughs> he's he just bought something in Williamsburg. They're right. a nice guy. But like, it's a diff it's just perception. Everything's a package. That's what that's that's the thing with like that with white rappers. It's like it's the package. Right. And I'm I'm here trying to represent real man. I'm just done with like I want to be real. Let's talk about that because on Twitter you said I want to be a white rapper. Yes. You said I want to be so white. I'm the biggest rapper of all time. I what be if big and white? What if everyone starts big to be white. big and white? What big if this works for white. everyone and big everyone can white. experience this whiteness and this bigness? Yeah. What, what did that mean? Because you know, Twitter is only 140 characters. Can you take it out of context? What did it mean? I mean, with everything, it was a poem about freedom. I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna explain my art. Cause like that's not what art's supposed to do. Like it's supposed mm -hmm. to be a conversation. When was the last time somebody was mad about a poem? I did that. Like it's mm -hmm. like I did that. Like that poem's about freedom. I do want to be big and white. I want to be like like Will Smith is big and white. But why is white the 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 bar? Because like, why we just can't be black and great? Because or just human and great. Well, I agree. Like yeah, we always want to be like human and like we're all like part of the same thing because we are. But the truth is we aren't because it they won't let us like that's the thing it's like we have 400 years of data saying like they're not gonna let us in like that's the thing it's like we got it like i know my purpose i know what we're supposed to do it should be everybody like we should be everybody but like we can't 
do that because it's just not set up. You get reminded like of certain things like with Donald Sterling and with the whole Atlanta Huck situations. It kind of reminds you of how people do. But that view don't you. stop us from being great. Yeah, well, no, that we great. Stop. I, I, I hate that. Us. I hate that we implement this inferiority complex in our people. No, we no, are no, no. We're not like we're not. I don't think that's in. I mean, like, ask your question again. I want to make sure I, I hit exactly what you say. Like, oh, I just want to know what you meant by that. Say, oh, what I meant by that. I feel like I feel like why white people the bar white the bar for greatness because whiteness is blankness. Is because they look at it as a blank slate. Like when you come in, you can be anything. Like when I walk in, even if I have a bow tie, they might be like, "He's is he Muslim?" They're not gonna do that with a white dude. Like mm-hmm. white people are a blank slate. We are not. People bring stuff to it because there's not a lot of us, so they only judge us on the seven or whatever or whatever they know. So that's what I'm trying to say. They're like, saying well, based on how you're dressed slate. and your appearance, people are gonna make judgments and assumptions. But if you're white and you come in the room based on your appearance, you're like, okay, it could be anything. As a black person, I constantly have to know what a person is assuming about me. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Well, but technically, white people do too now because we assume that they are racist. We assume that they are going to. But they are way. because the world is like it's built so around. We can't them. say they're I, a blank I get what statement. Saying, no, I get what you saying because it, it's it's a blank I, slate. Like you we say, can't you, say that. You can say that. How to, when to a we're sitting experience. here with a bunch of preconceived notions about white people? No, it, it's not that. Every, no, it's all just, of us are. I've, I've been in certain situations where I walk in, let's say, a car dealership, and right away. I get no respect. Why? Because I'm a young African American. They probably feel like this ain't got no money, I, right away. Okay. It, but if you're a white individual, same age, you know what they probably think? Oh, his parents got some money, so he probably can afford this car. I've been there several times and seen it happen from the smallest dealer from Dodge to Ford to. But that's Gold a preconceived race. notion. So it's impossible for white people to have a blank slate. No, it's it's. Here's the thing, black. <laughs> we just said. I, well, we I got in an argument a, once. A, we were talking about. Woman. We were talking about like he was like, "Who you want to marry?" Like one day wouldn't marry, and I was like, "Honestly, I don't think I could marry like a white woman. Like I don't think so. Maybe, Why but I that? don't think so because I need someone racist like me." <laughs> <laughs> like I need somebody racist like me. Really? So you don't like, care about love. You know? No. I mean, if I love her and like it's like, then I'm like, man, she's the one. I'm, I found it. But like in general, I need somebody to see the world. The way I need to come home and be yeah, like, we, yo, like you need because she with- because a white woman in general is not gonna see that. She's just not. She's not gonna understand. Like I just found out band aids with the color of skin. I just found so, that out. So what's the difference between white people and white women? Because we just Wait, said, bring that back. Bring that back. Band aids. Oh, the reason that's the, the color of skin. skin. Because of the color of white people's skin. Did you know that? No, know you that. didn't. Learn because something. we live in their world. Well, it's the color of envy skin. <laughs> so so it's it's the color country, skin. Huh? country <laughs> maybe. We, yeah, country know. maybe. Where do we go? Where we're the where where the sh- like where do we go? Where we're like I, number one? Where I, it's better I, for us? I mean, I would hope Africa. They, no, we oh, are okay. African American. We are not African. They do not say. I mean, my boy is Nigerian. He will tell you they are not looking at us like, yeah, you bro, like not that they hate us, but we're but just we're not the African. Most imitated culture exactly. in the world. Our, our, so how can we, we not be shit? We are ten percent of the United States. We are the small. We are really, really, really unique. Yes, and, and we, we influence and the world. We influence the world. We're the reason why the country is so great. And we also make the like or not. That didn't come from a white person. I know it didn't. It's too <laughs> real. Not. We made that. It's culture. We made culture. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So how can we? Nah. Because, because how can we sit around and implement all these inferiority complexes of our people when we know what? It is? Because why they, are we allowing ourselves to feel inferior? We. It's not that we feel inferior. It's that we're not in control of it. It's taken away from us every time because I it think can't be quantified. I think he's saying you get treated differently. Not like you go in there saying oh, I'm not better than I don't anybody feel they're in and, control either. And I'm worse than everyone. I feel God everyone. is in control. I'm. That's I'm, how I truly feel. I feel, I feel like, I'm a like we are living God. a human existence. I feel like we all are God. We it's are what we want to be. Like we can do that, but we have to work together. And I feel like right now, our generation, like me, like I know what I'm. I'm, I'm fighting for real, and I'm fighting for our quanti- to quantify our worth. Like when they shoot us in the streets, basically they're saying like you're not worth anything. It's like, and we have data, 400 years of data. We see what happens every time. So I'm here just being like, yeah, I'm going to wear this. I'm going to do exactly what I want to do. I'm going to say this on Twitter. Black Twitter can get mad. White people can get mad. I don't I don't care. Mm-hmm. I got to be me because I got to quantify my worth. Like I was hanging out with Jaden, like <laughs> Jaden Smith. Smith. I love Jaden Smith. I man. love him. He's I like, don't care what nobody says. He's the Gandhi of our time. He is, man. Like, but he's, he's so <laughs> smart. He really does. I know people don't get him. But I get he's, it. He's light years ahead and he gets it. And he's like, yeah, I just, he's like, he's like the... And Chris Rock said this too, and it's really smart. It's like, what black people need more than anything is a chance to fail. Like, Jaden has a chance to fail and learn. Mm-hmm. That's that's really what it is. Like, white kids get to fail all the time and be like, oh, that didn't work. I'm going to try again. Mm-hmm. I've never had a chance to fail. That's why I'm exceptional. That's why we are exceptional. But we failed. I failed. 
I, I failed in life. I've you, gone. I've been to jail. Yeah, failed. Look at you. Failed classes. You're amazing. Yeah, look what you're doing. You got, I, you got fired. Three, yes, four I've been times. fired four times from radio. I've gotten plenty of chances to fail. That's why I succeed. Right. You you learn from your failures. Absolutely. Right. Everyone does. But how many chances do you really get? Like. I've gotten a lot, my brother. Now, I will <laughs> really? tell these, I tell these kids a lot nowadays that they're not giving you the chance to fail because these cops will kill you in the street. They'll right. put you away for hundreds of years for the little, so they're not giving you a chance to fail. I do agree with that right. to a certain extent. But at life, we're not in general like allowed to like fail. I just want to be like free. I just want to be as honest and free because like I real right now is like that's our struggle. I feel that way anyway. You like, are honest and free. I yeah. think so. What is um, Jaden Smith's involvement in your mixtape that you have coming up? Oh, yeah, I got a mixtape. Um, <laughs> <I talked laughs> oh, about oh, it. Yeah. That's why I came here. Um, no, nah, I mean, I mean Jaden, I just like his, I feel like he really represents the character that was in the, because of the internet. Mm -hmm. Like, it really, really represents that. But also, I just think he's, I think he's really smart and, like, he's, he's good with his brand. Like, he kind of understands. He's like, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. And, and, like, I have opportunities that a lot of people don't. So I'm just going to, like, figure that out so I just felt like he was just like a cool person to have there and it was his first feature mm -hmm. so I was like yeah you can totally get out he's a cool dude you know what I like about Jaden man Jaden says things that are so common sense but people look so deep into it like Jaden <laughs> will be like look around he'll tweet look around and you will see and everybody be like what the f does this mean <laughs> look around and you will see and you will see and it's real it's but it's sense. real that is real <laughs> he's talking about he'd be saying like common sense stuff and it'd be crazy but like sometimes he'll drop some, like he'll be dropping stuff like he he came over to my house and we were talking about just like you know doing what you want to do. He's like, man, look, like, and he was wearing these weird kind of leggings, <laughs> like these kind of weird leggings, and he's going on and on. And he's like, look, he's like, I know I walked out of the house today with no pants on. <laughs> I did that on purpose. He's like, I don't care. Like he's he's freer than all of us. Mm -hmm. Like, and I'm not trying to say like that's what we should aspire to be. I'm saying like my job right now is to make sure that other kids like Lil Black is like feel like they can do. Whatever they want, because mm -hmm. I I still feel like yeah, but I can't you can't do it. say that and then say it's four hundred years of systematic oppression that shows we can't do that. No, I'm just saying it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Like people are not gonna like me talking about what I talk about. People are not gonna who like cares? me. Yes, but I mean people care. Like people say, like who cares? People care. Like at the end of the day, it's like Malcolm X, Martin is like they died. No, they people got killed. killed them. Yeah, they got killed. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like they killed them. Like so, I'm like it. It, it is dangerous because people don't want like that to happen and i'm sure you see all the backlash on your own twitter and yeah i see people like people people threaten me every day well they got mad at you when you shot down the idea of twitter activism you, you yeah. basically said that you thought it was pointless well that was it i was using that term twitter activism to be like when you just retweet something and you don't do anything yeah get out there and because that this thing is like yeah. we did we've done that a million times right yeah. we've retweeted we've been like you know what bring back our girls you know bring back like do that stuff and retweeting is good because like it's the first part we all are aware it raises but awareness it yeah. raises awareness i still use it that's what was so weird about that people were like you're saying that i was like i tweeted about eric gardner like two days before <laughs> like i tweeted about like kenneth chamberlain in the bronze i tweeted about bell like i i i tried no well not bell because that was before but like I'm 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 aware of all this stuff, mm -hmm. but doing something, getting cops to wear police like mm -hmm. wear video and stuff, that's hard. That well, takes that's, money. That's good. I mean, they just started that in New York, which is a great thing. I think that's they, great. They, it's a trial where you know a lot of officers are going to have to wear cameras, mm -hmm. you know. But you know, we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see, see what if it stays on. You know? I don't want to make this like dark. <laughs> it's not dark. <laughs> like, it's good I feel like it's just, like just dark and like kind of feel. It's I don't want to. Good wanna, conversation. Like, I feel, okay, cool. You, you believe in media brainwashing, right? That the media, yeah, absolutely. That's why they call it radio program and television program because we can program you to think a certain way. Now I, I mean, feel, like to, to think a certain, uh, to like certain things, and not to. You can plant certain things. Definitely. I feel over the past few weeks they've had all of these white privilege conversations. Whether it's the truth about white privilege, what is white privilege? I really think they're doing that to either reinforce uh, fears and prejudices that certain people already have, or to plant the seeds that some people never had in them at all. Hmm. Making them say, hey, it is white privilege. You're not as good as white people. You should have an inferiority complex. I really feel that way, man. The rhetoric I'm hearing from people now, even with you sitting there speaking, makes mm -hmm. me feel that way. I, well, see, that's heavy. Like, that's really heavy. The, the thing is, there's, we're never really going to know. That's what's so sad. Like, we, we won't know. I'm always just going to be Donald. I'm always going to be mm -hmm. black. 
Like, a white person's always going to be white. Like, we really don't know. So you know. can't know if your path would have been different if you were a white person doing it. My experience is always different. Mm-hmm. My, my experience is always going to be different. But does it matter? It sometimes it, does. it seems like we look too deep into things. Barack Obama's the president. A, yeah, we yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, no. everybody. You believe that's a conspiracy, too? No, I don't believe it's a conspiracy, okay. but I'm just like, he can't do anything. That don't Still, mean no, anything. Just the fact that Americans came together to vote and put him in the White House shows how far we have come. Absolutely. It, it, I'm not saying that we haven't come far, but it's like, he kind of, in a weird way, he made it harder because now everybody's like see see it's fine like that is like it's weird we're good like but it's like but we're not good i still get like a, a cop threatened to shoot me about a month ago <laughs> like a month a month ago and he knew i wasn't gonna tell anybody i mean i could tell anybody <laughs> <Why wouldn't you laughs> say he said well no like anything that can happen right. like i right. can tell somebody and, and then be what? like yo and then what tell us the story what happened where was you at we were, I mean, like, this happened a couple of times. Like, which one do you want to hear? The, like, the, the most the recent one. one. The most recent one. Um, where were we? Like, there's Atlanta to Sweden. There's Vegas. Yeah, I was well. I mean, that was a while cops? ago. They're all threatening about to shoot you. What are you? What but are you that's doing? what I'm saying. It's like I gotta defend myself. I look like this. Okay. Like that's what I'm saying. I look like this, and they're like, "Yo, I'm gonna shoot." Like that's the thing. It's like people test me, and they'll be like, "You, you soft. You soft." And it's like I grew up in Stone Mountain. That's where the KKK came out again. Mm. Like I know. Like I had to be this my entire life. I don't like it when people test me because I mean, you can test me, but I'm still a nigga from Atlanta. Mm-hmm. So what happened? Tell us what happened. Okay. Well, I was. Uh, this was a while ago, but like I was in Las Vegas. I could, I was doing a show. My parents, they're they're slightly disabled. Like my dad has a bad back. My mom has broken ankles and stuff. But anyway, like I'm trying to help him out and get in. And we're at the gate. And I'm like, hey, I'm Childish Gambino. I'm about to go in. Uh, can you let us in? They're like, well, you don't have it. They don't have a tag. I was like, I know, I understand. But I, here, this is me. Like, could you get somebody and they can confirm it? Cop comes over. He's like, is there a problem? I was like, yeah, I'm about to perform. I'm just trying to get my parents. And he's like, get off the sidewalk. Whoa. And I was like, what? He's like, get off the sidewalk. So I get off the sidewalk, and then he just walks away. And I was like, okay. And I'm waiting for them. He's like, we can't get in touch with the, the stage manager. There. I'm like, like my parents are sitting there. Like, they're, like they, they've are like been walking for a while. Right. We already had a problem. And then I'm waiting there, and then the cop comes over. He's like, hey, get, get out of the street now. And I'm like, yo. I was like, my parents can't walk. I'm trying to get in. I have a performance in 10 minutes. And then he's like, do we have a problem? Hand on holster. Right. And then like fam comes over. I'm about to lose it, but fam comes over and he's like, don't do this. And my mom is literally tears in her eyes. Don't do this. Mm-hmm. Cause she knows, right. cause we all know. Like it's all mm-hmm. knows. Like, waiting for you to do He's something. waiting for me. And it's like, you're powerless. That's what they're essentially telling you. It's like, mm-hmm. you're worthless. And that's what they're doing. It's like, you're worthless. Mm-hmm. And our job, our responsibility, my, I feel like when I'm, whatever movement is happening, when I talk to Jaden, when I talk to, like when Malia's coming to my shows and stuff like that second generation of blackness are understanding like we have to take ownership of what we do which is build culture mm-hmm. we do that yes. we build culture let's, like let's, but we have to we have to own it like or not needs to be trademarked right now and let's get back to reminding like, like, each other that we're gods and goddesses and kings and queens but that's Please. the thing reminding each other is not enough we just have to i you have to live it live like it. that's the thing True. people it's really easy to tumblr it and tweet it and do it and have that perception of like yeah mm-hmm. i do this it's really hard to live it. Like, that's the thing. It's like, say what you want. Like, Mickey Blanco, who is a rapper, friend, like, got, it's like this cr- cross-dressing. Like, as much as you want to, like, if you hate him or love him, he goes to Russia. <laughs> he has to be weird and gay and strange there. Like, that's dangerous. They might kill him. I have to be this everywhere. Mm-hmm. So you got to live it. That's what I'm saying. It's like, we can't just talk about it anymore. I'm living this. Like, if people want to talk about me, people want to say that. I, I say what I mean in my raps. Mm-hmm. I mean it. I'm from Atlanta. I'm, but I'm. I should. I should be on BET. I'm black. <laughs> like I'm like. Hey, I feel hey, like. I'm like. Hey, I'm yeah. higher than BET. Young man. <laughs> All right. No, but that's the thing. But that's the thing. <laughs> I, see, see, that's what's set up. That's what I'm saying. That's the part. That's the part. That's what I'm saying. This is MTV. Now let's talk about music a little bit. Let's yeah. talk about this new this new project now. Okay. Now when is, when is this new project coming out? It's coming out. Um, Whenever I want, probably like in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I like, hey, listen, man, I like Childish Gambino. I just want to put that out. <laughs> you know, I'm what? All... No, you don't. I do. No, you I don't. You man, time it's you okay. I told okay. you that last time. You told me that your girls liked it. You were like your Melanie two friends. Like, love yeah, you were like, you were like, you know, they I like it. you though as the per- as a person. That's cool. Yeah. And I'm, I want people to understand. It's cool to like me and not like Childish Gambino. I get it. Mm-hmm. I'm not talking like the thing is like I'm not talking to Charlamagne. I'm not talking to like older black dude. I'm really talking to young white kids because guess what? They got the power. 
Really? They're the ones Stop who change giving it. them <laughs> white people all the power. They have it already. It. No. They have it already. No. We we influence the culture. We influence them. I'm telling them, like, they listen to my so raps. If they we come influence up to me. them, how do they have the power? Because they take ownership of it. Oh, stop it. Man. <laughs> they no. do. <laughs> no. Like, they do. Now like, we, it's like. Now, we had Janae Aiko up here the other day. Yes. There was rumors that you were, you know, dating and knocking that down. Is there any truth to that? No. Nah. She, no. had, she already told us it wasn't true. I don't true. want to ask him, though, because he's here. Man, I mean, she, no, he's, he's like, people, it's hard for people to understand, like, our relationship. Because mm-hmm. it is strange, I think, a mm-hmm. bit. Like, people, she's a beautiful girl. Mm-hmm. It's like, why are we not smashing kind of thing. But it's like, I, like, uh, yeah. I just don't see it like that. Like, I was just like, I don't like, to be real, like, y'all gonna think, I'm, I've been celibate for a minute. Like, how long? I don't know, when was the last time we, like, I don't know, probably about, like, four months. That's not, that long. that's not for me. It is <laughs> for me. It's a very long time. What do, what does it mean? I mean, what are, what's the reason? Oh, I just want to see if I could do it. It just didn't seem like important. Also, it's mm-hmm. a waste of time. Like if you're trying to get at girls like for like an hour, and sometimes maybe like they'll be like, you know what? I'll I'll talk to you for a little bit longer, and you're cool, and gotta go. Like that's the thing. Is like I'm not like once I meet that girl, I'm gonna I definitely want to talk to her. But in general, it's like mm-hmm. most dudes are trying to like smash and hang and still. And that's a waste of time. How but you already you sh- know plenty of females. I'm sure that you could hook up with if you wanted to. I mean, you're but, a rapper. You can get groupy love at least. I don't want to do that. That's weak to me. But also, like, those girls are like, like, they're not at the time anymore where it's fun to do that. They're at the time where it's like, okay. What's going on? What's going on? Like, <laughs> this, this, like wait, this, is this real? You know, like, this is not, it's not like this is fun anymore. And also, it's like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not a young chicken. Like, I'm, I'm not trying to, like, do that anymore. It's not as fun as it used mm-hmm. to be. Mm-hmm. You know How long are you trying to stay celibate for? Is there a, a date? Is there until a he has period? sex again, probably. Until like <laughs> until some girl intrigues me enough. Okay. For real. Like, you still use lotion though, right? <laughs> you, you, you you masturbate, right? You be like, I, oh, absolutely. Oh, I just made, he make said, sure. oh, absolutely. absolutely. How, How do you sure. keep your brain sharp? I just make sure. If you don't do it, like <laughs> seriously. Your brain sharp. And you're not you're not homosexual. <laughs> nah. I Cause, mean because you know, people will be like, oh, he don't want to smash your Aiko. He's celibate. Oh, he's gay. I mean, maybe, maybe I am. Like, I don't know, but <laughs> like, I haven't really tried. <laughs> have you ever been? I really haven't tried. Really tried. tried. Nah, I never been attracted to a guy. There's definitely been dudes where I've been like, I know why girls like them. True. Like it's just like definitely like I definitely get why dude. He's like, handsome. Right. Yeah, no, not, not even handsome, but I see how he deals with girls. Like I, gotcha. I feel how he does. Like I understand, like that. Like but, Charlamagne has a crush on Prince. Okay, it's Prince. <laughs> I mean, he's well, just, he is like well, Prince. what on a man crush or it's just like oh he has like because he does have feminine like type. Stuff, to be like, honest with you, man, when I met Prince, he kind of <laughs> glamored me. Like I, he, he just it was just something there. Like I gave him a hug. Like oh shit, Prince. I. I I, I mess with that. I, I didn't want to f- with nothing, but you know. I get that's the thing. It's like it never goes. It's like, <laughs> my d- didn't get hard. Uh, you can't say something. I'm sorry. We don't know about yeah. all that. I didn't get erect. I wasn't aroused. <laughs> I was just like, oh shoot. You sure, Prince? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. Well, it seems Prince, like you've had some difficult remember. relationships anyway, judging by your music. Mm-hmm. No, I've just had real relationships. I know I'm an emotional person. I'm a very passionate person. Mm-hmm. Like I feel certain ways, and then, then like I get there like What's very easily. Uh, I'm a Libra. Your birthday's okay. coming up September 25th. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. You guys did your research, man. Well, no, that's my best friend's <laughs> birthday, too. Santi. Oh, yeah. Santi. You guys have the same birthday. We have the same birthday. We're the mm-hmm. same type. Yeah, like, we got a birthday coming up. I'm not going to have... You guys are invited. I'm a birthday party if you guys want to come. Are you... Okay. And, but it'll, Is it going to be alcohol there? information? Yeah, there's going to be alcohol. Come on, I'm a grown-up. I, like, I know I'm on Ariana Records. It's like, a celebrate party. party. I know. I know. <laughs> I know my shows, you know, I know I'm doing shows with like Ariana and stuff, but I, you know, I, I drink alcohol. Okay. What happened to your FX show? I'm still making it. Okay. Still doing it. We're mm-hmm. figuring that out. That's, that's what I really want people to know. It's like, I'm entering, like, I feel like I'm entering a point where it's like, I understand what I'm doing. Like, I'm making a book and a show and uh, the mixtape is almost done. Are you doing um, a short film to go along with I'm, the mixtape? Because I had read that a couple of places. People think that, but I am I wanted to just keep it out there, like, just keep it kind of mysterious. I just want people to take it the way it is. Like, Jaden's on there. The money that goes from them goes to money. Uh, half of it goes to changing the policies for, like, cops to wear, like, videos and audio, and the other half goes to help Kawhi. So it's like a good project. I feel I'm really excited. Well, we appreciate you joining us. Yes, nah, can we man. preach a message of equality all across the board? <laughs> you know, we're well, all human beings. It's not a black thing. I think it's not we a are, white thing. I think we're green, though. And I don't want it to... It's not a war. It's not black against white. I just need... I want people to understand, like, that's what I'm fighting for. Like, okay. I'm fighting to be me. That's it. Just to be me. I want... I want us to be us. And, and also understand that we are... This is important. 
And you're from uh, Stone Mountain, which yeah. is close to Atlanta, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Can we preach his message of judging people uh, by the content of their character, not the color of their skin, not their sexuality, well, we well, not their religion, their gender? Here's the thing. It's like, <laughs> we've done that already. Let's keep like, doing and it. I don't think we, I don't think we don't do that. Yeah. I think all of we us do that. Do for that. Each other. So let's I not do. worry about what the evil ones are doing. Let's do what we know is right. But sometimes it affects you. Yeah. As so when what? the cops, so what? We got harassing you. I think like people. right now is not the time. Like, I, I know a lot of people because like people called us like new black. I remember on Twitter like oh, I that get was that like too. people like yeah. Like, I get you that. get that? I get that. I'm a you new get black. That? Yes. <laughs> really? Absolutely. Yeah. You don't see new black to me. I get new black. Really? For what? Your like views on what? Because of my views of uh, preaching equality, of saying let's judge people by the content of their character, and there's people that be like, no, nah, f that. They, they they try they out here killing us. So why should we look at them you and, know, in a peaceful way? Like, no, that's the way I choose to live my life. No, nah, we just look. We all we gotta know is that we all like we're all in the same boat. Like that's the thing. At the end of the day, everybody and these we're all in the same boat. Yes. And like we I agree with Killer Mike. There just says, needs to be some like solidarity sometimes. Like I'm not buying anything on Black Friday. Like I wanna show how how much like my money affects stuff. Like I'm not buying anything Black Friday. I wanna show people my worth. That's what that's what I'm doing. I'm right. our our job is to show our worth. Like I don't do so I don't wear certain products, I don't do that. I wear this because I'm like, yeah, if you if you really want me, you'll let me take a meeting like this. Mm -hmm. I'm way like, too arrogant to feel worthless. I'm really? way too arrogant <laughs> to think that I know, somebody's I don't feel skin worthless. color it makes them better than me. I refuse to believe that. I don't no, think it's I don't a matter believe of that you either. feeling that you're worthless. It's, it's about showing them. them. It's, it's about showing them. I think I think that we're implementing an inferiority complex in our people instead no. of a superiority complex. No, because I, I think don't the think the reality we are. of the situation is people don't treat us equally. Mm. So, keep to saying, act, so to act like they do, yourself. but they don't. Not true. Some people, exactly. some people don't. Some. It's by case We live by in a world case. where it's good people, Absolutely. it's bad people, it's right people, it's wrong people, it's evil people, it's positive people, negative people. That's just the way of the world. I got stopped by some it? asshole cops and I got stopped by some great cops. Absolutely. I, got, you know, I have There's some great neighbors and I have some ass neighbors. Absolutely. There's some, different some types of people, people everywhere. It's a cup half full, half empty. But to pretend like there's not perception about who you are from the get go is kind of silly. Like to to, to act like racial profiling doesn't exist. Well, nobody's just on a like general, that. just no, like no, I don't like think nobody's, nobody's acting like that. I mean, and I'm saying like that's that's something that I don't think bad. Like a person who's good, that's the thing. Is like a good person can be racist. Like that's the thing. A good person mm -hmm. can't be racist. We all like, like prejudices. As a matter of fact, I feel racism like, and prejudice are two different things. Yeah, we could be. It's like that's the thing. I consider myself racist. I do because I grew up in a world where race matters. Race matters. Like it does. Like I know how I have to act when I'm in certain situations. I know how I have to act in these situations. I know what this person thinks of me. I've been told. I've been. I've been told you speak so well, probably more than anybody. And like, and that's crazy. No white kid has ever been told you speak so well. So it's like I'm mm -hmm. saying, like I the agree. perception is that there's a perception there, and like people we're living in, even white people who are great and awesome and nice, still live in a world that has things reminiscent of it. So it's our job to like show those and it's hard gotcha. you know we just got to be loud a little bit but i'm i'm i agree with you there's good people and bad people. i think and, and it's cool that you get called new black i think like i think it's a good thing <laughs> i don't even know what it means <laughs> it just but, uh, means that it means that you have your own opinion that's what new black means to me like Jaden coming over to my house with no pants on just wearing some stockings that's new black he's doing Jayden what he wants want him up here i need Jaden up here spreading that good gospel of his i will world. absolutely I'll let him come up here with no pants on the stockings <laughs> up here too i mean okay we, we he wasn't it him. wasn't like his things was out yeah he had on, he's, was out. i don't want that <laughs> like out there he's like 16 you guys <laughs> okay, i don't want stop you guys it. like he was like like he was pantless he wasn't like being no celibate and he had Jaden smith at his house with no pants on that's the headline blogs run with that forget all the good positive yeah positive stuff that's that. That, that's gonna be a headline. Yeah, it's like childish Gambino, more childish than you think. Like, <laughs> like that's gonna be walking that's away. Right. Like child molester Gambino. Yeah, child molester Gambino. You went too far. Like, you went too far. It's the Breakfast Club is childish Gambino.